This is a comment I wrote under my last video, number 70. Um, especially I uh, wrote on my to-do list to translate uh, this following video into Spanish and maybe German too. Uh, my legal name. Once I was short on toilet paper, so I used my passport. Babylon is fallen now. Uh, this following video. And um, something I might have add, I should have added to the last video. Uh, I have been, I have never been in jail, prison. Vice versa, I, I even worked for the police as interpreters. That's one of the reasons I have. I have or I rather had many um, friends and police cops and maybe because I, I'm a little square headed from my hashtag addiction and this is the hashtags of the videos number 17 so now I will paste that video, which is Creative Commons. It's of it's of the channel The Light Workers Media, and the title is Bi Babylon is Fallen by Kate of Gaia. And I don't know why I want to subscribe, but doesn't function. You see, Sarah, maybe I. I don't know why. Somebody maybe knows why I can't subscribe. Babylon is Fallen by Kate of Gaia. One, name. The master key to the entire system's Crown Corporation's game. The name is the linchpin to the entire legal control construct. Without a legal name, which is your consent, by agreeing to be said name, the system vampires cannot literally feed on your lifeblood creation source energy that is typically shown in the physical materials we collect. It is only the consent to be, use, or have a legal name, mark of the beast, that is required for your absolute spiritual contract, deal with the devil motif, to be in full force and effect, with you as a slave, and them as master. For proof of this, look and see how much of your life or existence involves a legal name, and you will see the measure of control the system has over you. Two, register, registration, etc. Any and all things registered are fully surrendered with consent to the Crown Corporation with no legal recourse until such things are removed by exposing the intent by those who serve the Crown Corporation to commit fraud knowingly or unknowingly. Example, a child that is registered is Crown property by ignorant consent where the truth of registering was not brought forth, which is the original intent by Crown Corporation servants' owners to have people offer their children unknowingly into slavery of soul and thus body. It's the soul they're really after, so keep that in mind. Three, money, gold, silver, assets, Bitcoin, etc. are all illusions of value where you are the true creator of all physical manifestations. Money, external value, has been the tool as a third-party interloper, middleman, that has made draining your power possible. Money or the like only has a value if one has been duped into thinking it does. This illusion is the ultimate distraction and destroyer of creator souls, literally. All money is based on the soul contract, commonly known as a birth certificate. Four, birth certificate. The original sin contract, the name you think or claim as yours, is not your creation. Your assumed name was created by your parents or family members or adoptive kin, not you. 
This is an original creation manifested by another that is, in turn, registered, thus rendering it Crown Corporation property, as previously stated. It is upon this deception that your literal soul was and is enslaved, and upon which all money and debt is created. A debt bond value is placed in the birth certificate based on the assumed accruement of taxes, loans, debts a child is expected to pay as long as they are part of this fraud upon humanity. Example, if someone is expected to pay a certain amount of taxes, etc. in their lifetime, the bond is given a debt value. A child born into a wealthy family will have a higher debt bond value than someone who is of a lesser perceived income bracket rating. This is slave trading at its finest, which divides and conquers humanity in the surf caste hierarchy system that encompasses the planet. 5. Command and Control The courts and governments are the system slaves within, bought and paid for, where the true command and control aspects are the police and military as the frontline dogs and fear contractors for those above the courts and governments, such as the banks and religions, and those that control them. The courts and governments are merely the filler for this sandwich of deception and illusion. Without the ability to contract via any and all names at the frontline level, the whole system of control is destroyed. Most importantly, those at the very top of this spiritual slavery pyramid. Without the name, all levels above are ultimately annihilated completely. 6. The Triple Crown This consists of Rome, City of London, Crown Corporation, and Washington, D.C., they are the unholy trinity of the three in one, one in three, as illustrated clearly in the papal crown. Religion to control the beliefs, minds, and spirituality of humanity. The courts and banks to control the money and bonds and the world police, military, to quash rebellion and act as frontline contractors of soul extractions. 7. Principalities of Darkness This is the true nature of the game that the vastness of humanity is blind to. Religions have been used to separate you from source by making one believe God is external and use the Savior program to reinforce this. Money is the tool that is used to keep people in the physical-only realm by getting them to equate an external value on everything where nothing would exist without the people and their creativity. Physical death and harm is the tool used to clamp down on your true essence, which is all creation itself. The tools employed are languages with the corruption of pure frequency intent with multiple meanings of the same sounds and frequencies using words and spellings, literally, thus dividing and conquering us and redirecting our energy into their creations and control. These entities cannot create anything since they are soulless and thus utterly powerless. They know this and are absolutely terrified because this spells their doom once and for all. We are life with consciousness, where these entities are consciousness without life, soul, or spirit. They are completely and solely dependent upon getting our consent or spiritual contract agreement. And this is easily achieved through the name deception, buying people off, ego comforts, etc. Their whole house of cards and pyramid is based on this fact. We are the fuel for their system and vehicle. Without spiritual fuel, they're destroyed. The biggest program that we run into with the masses <clears throat> excuse me, is the sheer disbelief of their own power and who they truly are. A masterful job has been done to get humanity to this level of spiritual weakness and complete ignorance. This was the intent of corrupting the ancient truth, rewriting our past and presenting this in schools, churches, and all levels of ego academia. Repeat a lie often enough, and people will believe it. It is far easier selling a giant lie to the masses than selling us one by one. The media is the main tool of thought direction and manipulation to reinforce the lies we were filled with as children and up to our current state. We have many soulless entities on this planet, with the vast majority being placed in positions of power and control. 
be it police, courts, media, churches, governments, schools, military, at all levels. Fear is their only tool, and once one sees their true immortal nature, one becomes untouchable, literally. The mass hypnosis of humanity is deep, and you will meet all levels of resistance from friends, family, co-workers, etc., so don't bother trying to wake the consenting to be dead. The facts to prove this are all there for all to see, so it is up to, up to them to look, not you. Simply plant the seed and walk away. They are the same as the ones in the allegory of Noah that came to the ark too late. Let them drown. We are now at the culmination of destroying these entities once and for all, and they are pulling out all the fear porn, illusion, and desperation plugs, and in that process, they're sinking their own ship, where I merely hand them a better plug puller now. You, and only you, can save yourself, and no one else, so stop killing yourself trying. Let the dead bury the dead, and perhaps they'll get it on the next pass, but they are not your concern. Stay the course. The path home is the one of truth only, and nothing else. Your willingness to stand in truth is yours alone, and to the degree that you stand will be the same degree that you become untouchable spiritually and, as a result, physically. As above, so below, after all. There is no middle ground here. You're either in or out of Babylon. You are either master or slave, mortal or immortal. The soul, you, are infinite, where the body is merely a biological computer you operate. Your computer was infiltrated and corrupted, reptilian brainstem, fused chromosomes, and separated from the heart source mind. The soulless ones cannot experience compassion, so don't expect them to. They are the same as the Terminator droids in the movies, programmed to control and kill without remorse, and are easy to spot. They are everywhere, including your own family, friends, etc., and all you have to do is feel your way through. Let your instincts and your heart be your guide. We are clearing this reality of these parasites exponentially now, where universal law reigns supreme, where none shall or can trespass. They are masters of deception, so do not let your loving compassion be used against you, something that has been their most <coughs> excuse me, something that has been their most powerful tool. The Bioborg entities are already lifeless and are dependent only on being able to suck the life out of you. But, like every vampire, they cannot enter your reality without an invitation. Every use of the legal name is the only invitation they need, so best cut your ties and consent with that. Just get this concept, and you have already cut the puppet strings, and your causal ability returns instantly in relation to your ability to be responsible with that ultimate of powers. To the walking dead, and you know what you are, your time is over. Your deceptions are powerless, and now, moment by now moment, you are being erased from consciousness for the invading parasites you are. We of the living soul are awake, aware, and reclaiming our reality, where yours never existed. In short, yes, you are doomed. Have a nice day. Kate. Sometimes I pray at night and wonder what's left for me in my future. Wall Street didn't just gain from globalization. It has been completely reckless. Took the power, manipulated it, twisted it. The broke law is disgusting. And the world economy to its knees. Sick of the struggle. Corporate greed. It's all for you. None for me. Pay your debts. Stay in line. Planet screams. People die. I'm a man, I'm not your product We're all owned by the bank to keep stocks up I'm a victim, you play the predator But I'm a citizen, and you're the senator I'm making paper, really paper My money ain't worth shit, it's all fake, huh? I don't got a face, I only got a voice I hope you got the time, cause you ain't got a choice This the pain, a burning danger we got 
gotta open her eyes, we gotta wake up This is our time, can't you see the signs? Take a look around, we ain't fucking blind We can make this difference I'm so passionate about this idea to create JCCVW uh, Justice Court Comedy and Virtual Worlds is to show how perverse some laws are and the whole system of justice based on secrecy and corruption. When I said this um, word secrecy, I remember John F. Kennedy, his famous speech when he began. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret society, to secret oath, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment, of pertinent facts, far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. of Let's Talk Bitcoin. Um, it's called The Mola Story. And just wrote already one comment, uh, one more, more reason to create JCCVW, abbreviation for Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds. Um, because uh, there are many scams, fraud, and which would request a lawsuit. But many people who are in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, first want to avoid that. And but um, the risk is that maybe. Some people would demand stricter laws, but I think most of the people would um, be against that because um, as I myself, when I got to know Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, I started to um, think if there's a life beyond the state and anyway my opinion about laws and um, who has the right to judge my favorite uh, verse of the bible when jesus says who is without a sin cast the first stone so and anyway the risk, I repeat, would be that there will be established more laws, more regulation, and so I think we need to create a place to talk about justice and give the opportunity to discuss these things, but in a uh, of course, all these things are not uh, funny, but um, trying to at least give the appearance of a little bit fun comedy to create um, a place like in, in a virtual world, like Second Life, with some avatars maybe animal avatars so it gives it a little touch of comedy and fun like with my avatar innocent crypto kitty 
and maybe sometimes I need a little help from my other avatar, Naughty Katsila. I like this name especially to create some um, photo montage with Katsila. And just must uh, remember the quote of Stefan Moline, law is an opinion with a gun. So in my video number 61, I mentioned this project for the first time, um, this JCCVW, Justice Court Comedy in Virtual Worlds, Second Life. And it's no fun at all to denounce people and maybe the best way to um, to, fi to fight for justice, I think this uh, term would be better to use, is to to criticize these uh, things in a comedy way, um, like in this second life with um, some humor. Um, of course, uh, often these things are really not fun funny at all, but um, maybe it's uh, some kind of dark humor. <laughs> Black humor, English humor, or oh, gallows humor. Just went to Wikipedia. In the face of or about very unpleasant, serious or painful circumstances, any humor that treat serious matters such as death, war, disease, crime, etc. in a light, silly or satirical fashion is considered gallows humor. Gallows humor has been described as a witticism in the face of and in response to a hopeless situation. It arises from stressful, traumatic or life-threatening situations, often in circumstances such as death, is perceived as impending and unavoidable. Avoidable. Gallows humor is typically made by or about a victim of such a situation, but not the perpetrator of it. Sometimes I think this is just all a game. You can call it like this, this whole legal system. Just today they said in Spanish TV they made uh, the law about intellectual property, uh, piracy, they enforced that law now, uh, hallelujah. <laughs> so in comparison to, this is a game, but uh, the, I think what is not a game, the final judgment day, I'm very convinced there's a life after death, um, I created a soul trade game on Twitter. You're welcome to follow me. And second life, virtual wars, um, after life, um, hashtag I have. Uh, and I created a new hashtag uh, written together. Don't sell your soul to the devil. Sell it to Innocent Crypto Kitty. Yeah, it's just the first part uh, written together. And if you lose in this court of comedy, Innocent Crypto Kitty has the right to steal your soul. Uh, watch my video about soul trade game, I think, in the number. 
the video Avanos Enigma 017 number 17 soon I create a new video and translate it into Spanish and German but at the moment this one is the most complete video about soul trade game in virtual worlds like Second Life and by the way I a long time ago I created do not coin a crypto parody uh, it's on Twitter too anyway this is explained in this video so justice and truth are very important hashtags hashtags but in the end maybe uh, if uh, the topic is not too serious um, even if somebody might be less innocent than the other person maybe the person who is more funny will win anywhere there there is no judgment but the only judgment is is uh, <laughs> because my nickname is innocent crypto kitty and innocent is like a synonym for without sin so i i have the right to judge and throw the font first so <laughs> and um i can uh, tell the judgment oh yeah um uh, the surreal judgment that somebody owes uh, the soul to me for example the bitcoin dog who blocked cryptocurrency cat innocent crypto kitty how dare how dare to block this innocent crypto kitty <laughs> And watch my video number 52, Bitcoin expert accused for absurd reason. Um, actually, I should have put in judgment uh, the soul, soul trade game. And anyway, uh, I noticed later that um, annotations don't function in Android. So next time. And this is one of my favorite pictures and one comment I wrote some time ago, but uh, still not on video. Um. I'm a big advocate of cryptocurrency, but my prediction without betting, because it's really not what I I like, is the following. A new world order is going to force people into one world currency, which will be based on a certain type of state cryptocurrency. It will convince many people because of security reasons. The private key will be in a type of RFID chip like um, Obamacare. And I think this is what the Bible predicts in Revelation, Mark of the Beast. Democracy is ty the tyranny of the majority. All these trials, uh, lawsuits uh, should be recorded with several cameras 